the car here's some of the runners mm -hmm. okay we'll see gerard just for a second yeah, i'm going to turn on i can turn around okay Seconds so he's running at a nine minute right now. And he started, so take nine times five. five. So 45 minutes. So he should have been through here already. Aw, so we probably missed him. Mama Bennett was having herself a good old time out there oh talking to everybody. Yes, we high five people. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Look, now you're going to send me all the crazy ways trying to get across the 50, 56. <laughs> so this guy good has job, already finished the race. He must be from Kenya. Oh, focus, come on, focus. to Gerard's room. He's okay, guys. What broke my heart? Listen to this, guys. He collapsed. Oh, let me make sure it's focused. So what really broke my heart, he collapsed, and babe could not remember my name. Uh, How crazy is that? I know. I, uh, you know, they asked you a series of questions. You know, they asked me my social, Asking my date of birth, you know, my mom's name and things like that. And I just, I told them my mom and my girlfriend came to, to watch me run. But, uh, you know, they asked me my mom's name. They asked me, do you know your girlfriend's name? And I said, no, I don't. And I, the crazy part was I was, like, trying really, really hard to recall Mary's name. And I couldn't remember her name. And then maybe about an hour or so later, maybe a couple hours later, I was in the hospital. And it just hit me. I was like, Mary and Martha. Mary. <laughs> Mary and Martha. And then I was like, I told him, he's like, okay, that's good. That's good. This guy, he gave me that crazy scare. Gerard, what did they tell you? They told me I had a big heart. He said the boy had a big heart. Said, yeah, I know that. You know, so, they're a little concerned, though. Uh, I guess the big scare she's probably referring to, not only the collapse thing was, uh, they elevated me to cardiac, and you know that's kind of scary when you're dealing with the heart. So uh, I guess when they went inside and looked at my heart, they just said like, "You just have a big heart muscle." I was like, "Yeah, I know that." And Tell I my girlfriend. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ask my girlfriend about it. <laughs> but I'm good. I will, uh, you know, maybe sometime next week, get back in the gym and get back in my element of just lifting weights and you know doing sprints on the treadmill. Uh, this, this this full marathon was uh, was a challenge for me. Uh, you know, I was something completely out of my element. I was a sprinter in, in high school and in college, and uh, so you know, actually doing distance running a full marathon, you know, it's you know, it's different. You know, it's out of my element. But uh, you know, but I'm done. It, it, it's it was too scary, and you know, I got too much you know to live forward to you know be running a marathon and actually you know pass out or, you know, actually pass away, so uh, it was too, too scary. I, I need you to live, buddy. Absolutely. I was I was concerned about how my mom and, and Mary was going to be, but I think they handled it pretty well. I thought they were going to come in here sobbing, but uh, 
Your mom helped me a lot. She's so yeah. positive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it's all good. Um, it is what it is, you know. I ran a half before, and I guess I made it to mile 17, and I don't know, I think it was either a combination of dehydration, and uh, I just passed out. But uh, I'll bounce okay. back, you know. Um, I'll be good. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very active. You know, I hit the gym five or six days a week, so I'm expecting to recover very, very quickly and uh, just get back to doing what I love, and that's, that's in the weight room. And, you know, like I said, doing sprints on a trip, you know, you know, 10 to 15 seconds and off, 10 to 15 seconds and off, you know, actually trying to run four hours straight, you know, like I said, that, that's, that's a, quite, a, that's much, you know, that's a lot, but, uh, you did better than the half marathon. Yeah, I made it to mile 17, and the funny thing is, uh, during my training process, I actually, <laughs> I ran once, like 18 miles, and uh, it was a pretty, pretty, pretty funny story. That, uh, so I was supposed to run 22 that day, and I got out to like mile 18, and I couldn't make it back home. I had to take the bus. You took the bus. I had to take the bus back home. And what was playing in your head, babe? One more time. What was playing in your head? Can't recall. What did I you kept saying, "Babe always calls me Superman." I don't feel no, like always, Superman. Always. I was thinking about that today. Even you know, because I didn't want to disappoint her. I know she 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 loves me and uh, she thinks highly of me. So it's like you know, a lot of times when I was running, even today, I was thinking about it. You know, thinking about her and you know, uh, just letting people down. But uh, you know, my mom and Mary are both very very proud of me and. Uh, so I'm good. I, I, I'm, I'm thankful that I'm, I'm healthy and uh, I got my girl here with me and she's going to stay overnight with me. But uh, all is well. I'm blessed and uh, I'm in God's hands. So I'm all good. Absolutely, babe. Yeah. Oh, things are working for my good. Yeah, because he's intentional. guy has to stay longer they noticed something in his kidney function that was abnormal so we don't know when he's gonna be leaving look at that outfit though <laughs> look at that show it's your physical therapy baby physical therapy <laughs> it's killing it in workout mode. Five. With my physical therapist. Six. <laughs> Everything together, babe. This is what day three pretty much consisted of. Being in the bed, hanging out with Dave, watching TV. He's watching the sports channel currently. Today they said it was something wrong with his liver. Yesterday it was his kidney. The day before it was his heart but today we found out that his heart is fine thank the lord there was no blockage in his arteries the second day was his kidneys and his kidneys are doing better thank god the toxin level i think was stabilized it didn't increase which is what they were looking for and now today it's something with his liver but he has a test going on at is it seven or eight days seven thirty seven thirty and he can't eat, so he's been, he's been struggling. Now I've been having pizza and all this other stuff, and I feel so bad, but he can't eat or drink. And he has these tubes attached to his legs. His heart is currently out doing an examination. They're checking his liver right now. I think he's going to be gone for like 20 to 30 minutes. He thought he was actually going to have to wait until 7 o'clock to eat. And that boy can eat. He needs to eat regularly. So that was a stretch for him. He was really struggling. So they actually came and it's about maybe 540 currently. So they bumped it up, which is awesome. So hopefully we'll get some good news tonight so we can get out of here. And we know that he's healthy. But so many of you guys wrote us on Instagram. Some of you all wrote us on Facebook if you're following us and you sent your well wishes your prayers and we wholeheartedly thank every single one of you guys for all the support all the encouragement all the prayers and we know that God hears you all so we're, we're in good spirit and we believe that he's gonna be fine someone recently shared with me 
this whole analogy when it comes to trials and, and different circumstances that seem um, really uh, unfortunate or just disappointing, uh, they share with me that a thief does not go to a house where there isn't value. If somebody is going to rob you, they're going to go to a house or to a person that they feel has something of value. So in this case, we had to revert back to that and just understand that the enemy knows there's something great on his life, there's something great on my life, and just our lives together as a unit. And so he seeks to destroy families. And in this instance, in a previous instance, which I'll hopefully share in a future video, I'm still kind of <laughs> leery about sharing that currently, but um, I believe I will, because I'm very transparent with you guys and I do try my very best to be transparent and disclose quite a bit of my life because I feel like that's a part of my journey because I want you guys to come alongside us and get to see firsthand what's happening in the lives of others who are believing God for certain things because I feel like that's really valuable. I wish I could have watched someone and saw step by step what God did in their lives. I think it would have been even more impactful. So this is a part of our journey and so um, yeah, we're, we're okay with sharing with you guys. You guys are like family to us and so um, when this whole situation happened, we just we just reverted back to that whole thing. The enemy is trying to destroy us, but what the enemy is meaning for our bad, God is meaning for our good. And we know that he's going to turn this whole thing around and we're going to come back stronger. Our bond has developed even more. I was supposed to actually leave on, uh, I was actually literally supposed to leave this morning. It's Tuesday morning and my flight was at 5, I believe, 5 a.m. in the morning. And so I would have only had maybe three days with Gerard, roughly. And now I get a whole week with him, <laughs> interesting circumstances, but now I'm able to bond with him more and we sit up and laugh and eat together and just talk and just do different things. Although we're confined to this um, hospital room, as long as we're together, we're fine. different than they were I'm used to being so in control but no sometimes I seem to let myself go going home today this is my souvenir this is I guess this is the medal I want <laughs> <laughs> your I didn't, cup I didn't get a, a, a actual medal I guess I guess that's my medal okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir thank you I'm going home baby <laughs> Leave in the hospital today, guys. We both look Finally. a hot Finally, oh my god. Look at him with his Superman shirt on, though. Yeah. Oh, baby said I'm still, I'm still <laughs> Superman in her eyes. Still Superman, for sure. So. He driving and everything. That boy good. Thank God. Look at his arms. We out of the hospital. bandages. We out of the hospital. My baby, my baby and I slept there for three days, baby? Three days. Three days, man. Three, told them yesterday, long. three days, three nights. Yeah. Jesus got back up. Back up. <laughs> we back at it. Time so. to rise again. Rise again. We got a couple more days in Cleveland, so hopefully uh, we can get some footage outside of the hospital for you guys. And uh, I don't know. Let me get a little fancy. Look at look at look at this gear. This is really interesting. Man, she got on them Colgate shorts though. Yeah. How you like that? How you like that? <laughs> you know about that Colgate football? That's right. Hey. That's fresh, babe. We're going to the Word Church tonight, guys. It's going to be awesome. It's Pastor Ari Vernon's church. The guy that we talked about in our video that was the minister or the pastor at the wedding of the two individuals who decided to take kid kissing off the table as well as um, sex off the table. We're going to his church. He lives in um, Cleveland. His church is based out of Cleveland. It's actually near your mom's house. Yeah, it's on Mars Road. So we'll go check that out. It's my first time at the Word Church, guys, with Ari Vernon.
show us your skills? Hey, listen, you gotta catch me on guard. Yeah. I figured out. That was good singing there. If you put the pressure on me, babe. Oh, just tonight, right? Yeah. It ain't gonna flow out naturally. Oh. Okay. Naturally singing. Okay, just walk up there and naturally sing, okay? I'm not gonna catch you, okay? We're not listening. We're not listening. No, no one's listening. No one's Say listening. Say sing. Say you make a Go ahead, babe. I'm back up. You sing lead, babe. I got back up. When I pass yeah. work against the wall. Let's go, babe. And it looked as if it was over. You, you made, made a way. way. Come on, babe. <laughs> and we're standing here. Beautiful. What happened to yours? You I was there. It. Trust me, when you go back and watch that footage, you know, <laughs> listen, I, I, Lightweight was singing lead. <laughs> you were singing I, lead. I, Lightweight was singing lead. You were not but singing lead. I'm trying lead. to respect my position in the group. <laughs> good morning, guys. So, this is breakfast. It's so good. I have some French toast with some whipped cream and raspberries and strawberries on top, turkey sausage, I hope that's turkey sausage, and I have eggs and some grits. And what y'all know about sugar, brown sugar on your grits. It's an omelet, French toast, bacon. Yeah, and it's go time, baby. Look up, babe. What's going on? Hey. Good, hey. How are you? I'm great. I'm wonderful. You feel better? I feel great. I feel amazing. Thank God I was able to overcome that little situation and it restored me. And I'm feeling better and better every day. So. And he look cute. He has on his weight in his new black tee. Y'all remember those jeans we got from H&M? Don't they look good on him? And they're slim fit, guys. They're not skinny jeans. I said I wanted him to have skinny jeans, but it's more so the slim fit look than he has on his Clyde. What are these, babe? Clyde oh, Pumas. You know, Aren't they cool? CB specials. CB specials. Shout out to Carl Banks. <laughs> Showing love. We're <laughs> about to head out. Gerard is about to take me to meet some of his family. I believe I'm going to meet his grandpa today and also see his dad at his restaurant. He's going to tell me about a Polish boy. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to find out today. So we're about to head out. We're twinsies today. Our shirts say, Waiting is the New Black. Can you see it? <laughs> you know who I'm waiting on. <laughs> waiting on you. <laughs> waiting on you, baby. Look at her. Waiting is the new black. I see you. I like those shoes, baby. Thank you. <laughs> looking good, looking good. So this skirt is the one I got made. Okay. Okay, a little squirt action. Ain't that ain't that what they call it? I guess it's a squirt. A squirt? Yeah. Shirt, skirt, squirt. Um, you messing that all the way up. It's all good. It's I got you, good. though. I'm feeling it. Waiting is a new block. That's hot. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. You ready to hit the city? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. We got to meet my pops now. Would I be if you left? Got to his dad's restaurant, about to have a Polish boy. Cleveland special, baby. <laughs> 
Show me how fast you are. <laughs> Tell me your move. Yeah, he can bash. Get it, bud. Get it, bud. Go ahead. 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 Christian, what happened? Show me your moves. I'm here talking about how scared he was. No, he's talking about Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> See this? Spider-Man? Spider yeah, that's that's Spider-Man. I've been trying to the Polish boy. I'm excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My dad said you officially have been uh, welcome to Cleveland now. It's so flavorful. Uh -huh. It's amazing. You will have to try Polish boy. Come to Cleveland. Where they gotta come, babe? Brooklyn barbecue. <laughs> She's gone. That fast. Just like that. Look at that. She's leaving so soon. I feel like we just got together. Now I have to endure another, what, six months, babe? No. Oh, okay. I want to say you're not. You always say I'm exaggerating, so you I just want to make sure I'm setting it straight. How long it is? <laughs> six months? That's what you Yeah, six months, man. Another six months until I see her again. How crazy is that? The struggle is real. The struggle is real. So just these two bags, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at her. She out. Gotta wait another six months until I see her again. She got a police escort out of here. <laughs> no. That's how special she is. We we ordered a police escort. <laughs> police escort. We got the vehicle outside. Sirens ready to go. <laughs> police escort to the airport. No. That's how I, I ordered that. Or that's VIP. That's VIP. That's how special she is to me. I made a call. Just like I said, I took a flight. <laughs> I made a call. So, until next time, babe. Cleveland will miss you, so will I. Although I won't be in Cleveland either. I'm leaving soon too. She thought, hey, and just, just as if y'all thought I was joking about the police escort. Police escort. How about that? Two of them. Right. There's a car. 
police, they waiting on the car, bad police, that's cool. No, they're not. They gotta go. Yeah. I knew the moment that I saw him that I was in love. So it's like, I was like, love him first.